Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday and that means it is Turner Syndrome video day on my channel. <laughs> wanted to talk about an aspect of Turner syndrome that I, I feel like gets pretty well talked about as far as people looking for advice, people talking about their experiences, but I don't know if the connections between the two are as widely understood. So I want to talk about Turner syndrome and like social life or social skills and how Turner syndrome may complicate that for some girls or some women. I myself have always been a social person. I thrive off relationship. I thrive off of that connection. I'm a quality time person if you look at the five love languages I'm quality time all the way so I really thrive off of that and I've never found difficulty making friends or making conversation with people I've, I've never been one to feel socially awkward in any way but there's there's some aspects of Turner syndrome that still can complicate it um, and I think the biggest connection is with NVLD nonverbal learning disorder I talked about that in the Mental Monday on learning disorders, but nonverbal learning disorder is basically where the more abstract concepts are a little harder to grasp and there's a difficulty in reading facial expressions, body language, tone of voice sometimes to be able to see when somebody's joking or when they're being serious, when they mean what they say all of that kind of thing it, it can kind of create a communication barrier and I don't I don't know that I want to say that's affected me too much but I I mean I have noticed it's made me more sensitive I've been the brunt of jokes as far as short jokes blonde jokes my whole life um, <laughs> that's just been something that's come with the territory there's not really any way of getting around that and so because of that I get a little more sensitive in moments where I've taken a lot of it and then somebody says another one, no matter who it is, I'm just like, mm, uh-huh. Like I'm, I'm not as able to take it as I, I usually can muster. That does have to do with it. It does have to, like I'm always, there's always a tint of like, okay, you say that a lot. Like I hear that a lot. Is it really just a joke? Or whatever. Like. There, there being that a little bit of a disconnect. So that can be, even just on a surface level, a way that Turner Syndrome can kind of complicate relationships and social skills and being able to be social. There's also the aspect of it of feeling different, feeling insecure, having things about you that most of the people around you don't understand fully or will never experience and can't fully empathize with. And I think that's where it's important to have that mixture of friends or people you can talk to that also have Turner Syndrome and you can go to them for that specific stuff and then you can have your other friends that aren't, aren't in that group that, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily need them to be in that group. It just helps to have that community to be able to go to that can kind of relieve that insecurity aspect of it where you have somebody you're able to talk to that understands. Um, but that does throw an aspect into things where they, they're never gonna know how that feels. And feeling insecure about that, those ways that Turner Syndrome makes you different can make you a little more reserved. I know being short has always been something that I've heard about and it wasn't until later in life that I was like, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm happy that I'm the size I am. Like, I'm, I'm totally okay with this is me. And that takes time to get there. I, I think in the meantime though, that can be kind of overwhelming, especially when it's something so obvious and so, in my experience, widely commented on. Along with 
some mental health things that are associated with Turner Syndrome like depression and anxiety. Those can complicate social relationships as well, especially if anxiety leads into social anxiety that can make you nervous to talk to people, nervous in front of people. Um, it can make you be a little more introverted, a little more closed off, and that complicates that all the more. Like I said, I myself don't actually have a ton of experience with there being social issues or social struggles. I generally am a pretty social person. I obviously like talking and I, I love people. I thrive on that connection and that relationship and yeah, I've seen some ways that it may or may not be affected by Turner Syndrome, but not a ton for me. So I would love to hear more experiences with that aspect of it, if you have experienced that, if you've experienced it complicating social functioning or you've experienced it not being something that naturally comes to you. Um, I would love to hear about that if you feel comfortable sharing. I think understanding this can be really helpful when you look at being in social circumstances that are kind of just demanded by life, learning how to have ways you're able to cope in those moments, ways you've learned to help yourself in that time when it's a struggle, and even ways you've overcome it, ways you've been able to push past it or grow through it and overcome it being a struggle. I think this is a pretty important topic for the quality of life for a Turner Syndrome women, being able to have secure and healthy relationships, I think is just an important part of life. So I would love to hear experiences if you have any, and I hope this helped you in some way. I hope it gave you a little more insight into what life can look like with Turner Syndrome. I think I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to NVLD because there's, there's a lot of ways it can affect you. So if you would like to see that video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. And if you liked this video and it helped you in some way, it gave you a little more insight and encouragement, give this video a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, click the screen and subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!